Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Black Caddis Dry Fly. There's a number of variations of this fly out there, some with duck or goose quill wings and some with deer hair. This variation uses a CDC underwing and a deer hair main wing. It's a great fly when those dark colored caddis flies are coming off the water. I like to tie it in sizes 12 through 16. Here's the fly in the vise. So the hook we're going to use today is a TMC 100 in size 14. That's their standard dry fly hook. And our thread is Vivas uh, gel spun thread G GSP and 50D in the color black. And we'll start our tie uh, eye length behind the hook eye and run our thread back to the bend of the hook or the start of the bend of the hook. Then back up to our initial tie-in point. And the first material we're going to tie in is just going to be a piece of pearl flashaboo. This is going to be for the rib of the fly. We'll tie this in on the near side of the hook. And to help reinforce that a little bit, we're going to tie in a piece of 6 aught. Danville, and that's to protect that flash of boo in case a fish gets its teeth in it. And the body of this fly is some nature spirit snowshoe rabbit dubbing and black. Nice spiky stuff. So we'll form a small noodle. Just a bit more. And now we'll take our rib material and we'll make some open spiral turns up the body of the fly to add a little bit of flash to it. that off. And now the counter rib. I'm going to wrap that in the opposite direction. So the other wing of this fly is going to be some hairline CDC in the color slate gray. Got a couple of pieces here. I'll pull some material out perpendicular to the stem and tear it off. Don't worry about the length of it right now. We'll fix that towards the end. Just tie that in. Rid of the excess. In the main wing of the fly is going to be some hairline primo deer hair in the color black. So we'll cut out a small clump here and get rid of all the shorts and the fuzzies. And we'll start with this in a big stacker and see how it stacks because of all the static electricity. And we want this to extend back to about the bend of the hook. And we're going to cut off the excess of that. Hold on to your material. Take two or three tight wraps, jump to the front of the hook, and I probably want to reposition that or it's going to fall off. There we go. Take our whip finish tool, do a four or five turn whip finish, seat the knot, cut our thread. Now that CDC material, we're just going to break that off 
even with the wing, like so. And we're going to add a little head cement. This is Loon's water-based. Clear out the eye. And our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again next time.